What's good guys, 35 Studio here, I'm Daryl, it's time for another film photography video. This is a new series that I'm working on, I plan to call it Film Showdown. Today we're going to compare the top 2 most affordable ISO 200 films around. This is the Fuji Color C200 and the Kodak Color Plus 200. For this video, I'm going to use my Nikon FM3A. I also borrowed Marla's FM2. And for both cameras, we use the same lenses, it's the Nikon 50mm 1.4. AI lens for consistency. And for metering, I based all shots on the internal meter of the FM3A. We're mainly going to shoot some portraits and our model for today is Kat. Go follow her on Instagram. Stylist is going to be Sela Gonzalez and we're also joined by Kim Lim. So go ahead and enjoy this video. Some of you might say that this is not really a scientific comparison and I would agree. Since these are digital scans of the negatives, the colors that you saw in the video are subject to the interpretation and settings of the film scanner that was used. Now for consistency, I asked the lab to scan both rolls using the same scanner under the same automatic settings just so we could see how the um, scanner would resolve the photos. Now let's just get that out of the way that the point of this video is not really to see the full potential of each film stock rather this is just a real world expectation on the scans or pictures that you'll get especially for beginners that don't have access to a dark room because to really maximize or see the potential of two film stocks it's best to have them printed using uh, a dark room and larger system it's going to get really expensive and most beginners don't have access to that now which one do you like more? Do you like the C200 or do you like the Color Plus 200? Personally, I like the muted uh, skin tone colors of the Color Plus 200. But at the same time, I appreciate the contrast with the Fuji Color C200. Now, Fuji films are famous for having their bias towards the green colors. That's why once you see the leaves, it's really popped out. It has high contrast. And... I prefer this more if I'm shooting more of a nature scene, but when I'm shooting portraits, I prefer Kodak for its almost accurate colors, especially with their ch cheaper films. It's, of course, this is no Portra 400. And remember again that these are just digital scans. So 
if you're really into it, if you have access to Lightroom, you could always edit the shots of a Kodak to look like a Fuji and vice versa. Now, that is if you have time and if you want to exert effort on editing the colors just so it could match each other. This is just your direct straight out of the box, straight out of the lab results that you're going to get. And if you like this type of video, go comment down below what other films do you want us to test side by side and we'll make a video on it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you like more film photography videos, go hit subscribe because we post new videos every week. If you want to be part of some film photography discussion, go ahead join our Facebook group that's 35 Studio and Friends. Go visit our website down below for our merch and click the links down below if you want to see the gear that we use, the cameras that we use, all are linked down below. And for this week's feature picture, here they are. If you want your photos to be featured, all you have to do is go to our Instagram, that's at 35studio. Follow us and tag us in your photos and might select you in next week's video. Just make sure your account is on public so we could see them.